Welcome to another video from Green Read Technology. In this video, we're going to cover a pre built ISO library appliance for the Citrix Zen server. One of the reasons for this appliance has been the lack of a simple and straightforward manner in which to utilize an ISO library for Citrix Zen server. Uh, primarily, it will be through either SIFS or an NFS, which both require some sort of external storage, uh, whether it be a server or maybe a, a, an, a, an appliance, to mount your ISO libraries. Oftentimes, I would just like to be able to do an install and kind of get started right away without the need of configuring some sort of additional storage uh, that may or may not be permanent. And this just allows for a way to kind of get running right away. Uh, here are some of the the specs for the particular appliance. I've utilized CentOS as the base. Uh, what I've tried to do is keep the appliance as small as possible uh, and simply provide a, a purpose-built appliance. Not too much frills, just right to the point, does what you need it to do. And here is the share information for the appliance. All right, so at this point, we'll go ahead and get started with the installation of the appliance. All right, to begin the install, we first need to download the appliance. Uh, the appliance can be downloaded by going to my website at uh, greenreadtech.com. And then we'll click on the virtual appliances section. And then here we have the GRT ISO X86 appliance. We can click on that. And then we'll go download. And at this point, I can save my, uh, my zip file. And I'll save it to the desktop. Uh, and at which point it'll download. I've already got an appliance downloaded. Um, so after the appliance is downloaded, you just unzip it, and at which point you'll then be able to access the the XBA file. So I've gone ahead and done that, and it's on my desktop. So we'll go into Zen Center, and we'll choose Import. Uh, and at which point I'll choose my GRT ISO x86 XBA and I'll open that go next and I'll choose the specific specific server that I would like to add it to uh, the storage that I want um, choose the network in this case VM network is fine choose next and start the VM after I import it and we'll go finish Right, in which case we can see it's performing the process of importing the VM. All right, at this point the import has been completed and the VM has started. All right, let's go ahead and check out the console and see it booting up. Alright, and the VM by default is set to grab uh, its addressing via DHCP. We'll go ahead and log in. Uh, username of root, password of green RT. Alright, in which point we present it with the main menu option to change a number of the features or the specific settings on the machine. Uh, primarily host name, the IP address, the DNS server. Uh, we can re-enable DHCP if we previously set it to static. We can change the password for the Samba user as well as restart the system or shut it down. And then the last option is to exit this particular menu and access the, the machine itself. Alright, at which point, uh, come to networking, 
here's our address. Uh, you also can see that I have pre-installed uh, Citrix Zen Server Tools. Uh, the version I utilized was 5.6. It can obviously be upgraded to 6.0, uh, but it also works on 6.0. Um, so at this point, I know what the IP address is of my virtual machine. Uh, since we're just leaving it DHCP for now, and then I can browse to my share. The current name of the share is ISO Store. So I'll go ahead and enter that in. All right, in this point, we're presented with our prompt to log in, and the username will be Zen Server by default, and the default password is Green RT. Okay, and at this point we've got our share that we can upload our ISO to. I happen to have a ISO of Tiny Core Linux, and I'll just go ahead and upload that. All right, so I went ahead and copy, and so I'll go ahead and add the storage to the Zen server. We we'll choose Windows File Sharing, and we'll give it a name. And the share name. Uh, obviously, you can use the DNS name, uh, but more than likely, you would need to add it to your DNS server to utilize that name. So I just use the IP address. Uh, we're going to use a different username. Username be Zen Server. And green RT is the password by default. And as we can see here, I've got the tiny core Linux that I've uploaded on the demo ISO library share. Um, so this way you can pretty quickly and easily uh, upload your files and things like that. Um, there's also the ability to, to map that ISO library share uh, so I can quickly and easily access the share and upload ISOs to it as well as the ability to uh, move the VM from server to server uh, in the event you're doing a, an upgrade to a different server so that your, your ISOs will always be available to you. Thanks for watching the video. Additional information can be found at the website. Also follow me at Twitter for updates. Upcoming videos are using Zen Convert for P2V as well as backing up Zen Server Host.